Powering your home with solar, it's a bright idea if you can afford it. Believe it or not, you could qualify to have your home transition to solar for free. Our Philip Palmer shows us the smart energy solution. For most homeowners in the U.S., it will take roughly eight years to break even on a solar power investment. And that initial investment cost keeps many low-income families out of the renewable energy market. Families that could really use the savings that come from solar power. To a working class family, stretching that dollar that they might have been paying for an electric bill, that can go towards savings for retirement, a better car, just a tank of gas, college tuition, whatever working class families need. Grid Alternatives is a nonprofit working to provide economic and environmental justice through renewable energy, installing solar electric systems for qualifying families at no cost to the homeowner. We want to fortify this community so that people here can live their best and healthiest lives, and we want to put something directly in their custody and in their pocketbooks. One of the hardest parts of getting solar panels on more qualified homes is getting the customer to believe that installation, panels, maintenance is all actually free. We're not here to try to force people to, to sign up. But we believe if we're able to empower them with the, with the correct information, they're going to sign up themselves. The reduction on the bill has been amazing. Maria Madrigal is one of the first customers in the Pacoima Sun Valley area to take advantage of GRID's state-funded program that helped lower her energy bill from over $700 to an almost embarrassingly low amount. What is it now? My electricity bill. Yeah. It was $14. <laughs> Having helped over 2,000 low-income families in L.A., Orange, and Ventura counties, GRID is still trying to get the word out to residents who might qualify for a program that can be part of a solution for the environment while also helping families do more than survive. It shouldn't have to be, should I turn on my, my air conditioning so I can stay cool? It shouldn't be, how am I going to put food on my table because I'm paying all these high bills? We should have solutions that help people stay in their homes and help move for, towards the future. Philip Palmer, ABC7 Eyewitness News.